Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Penguino playing Gone Home. Uh, this might actually be the finale. There's supposed to be a secret passage here to get under the stairs. We just gotta find out what it is and how it opens. So if you look at the map, uh, oh, is it like here, here? Open panel, there it is. Okay, so this might actually be the finale. I'm finding out, whoa, hello. Oh, so they, they summoned Oscar, it looks like. They got some of his stuff, they lit some candles, they they ate some honey snaps, you know, as kids are wont to do, and I got the attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. It's just so sweet. And so, like, honest. And so felt. God. I, I've almost choked up a couple times, honestly, playing this. So we're going up to the attic. Maybe this is the end? She's got a little secret hidey place. And this hasn't been particularly horror -y. I mean, I've been scared by the lightning quite a few times. And there's a note. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Kick ass. Stay strong. I love you. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And... I missed the first two calls. Those were the phone the messages. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Wow. Uh, it's just people... Going after what they want is such a great story, and it's it, the the whole arc of having what you want taken from you, having the the chance taken from you, and then going after it anyway. It's just amazing, and I think this is this is it. This is the end, right? Hey, Gabriel. Katie. I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do Oh, I do. I do understand. Oh, uh, I get it. Sad, and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. This is really cool. There's this whole life and story of things that happen here, and you just pick up on it on things from things that you see like around the house. I really like this this style of gameplay. Oh my god. I I didn't know what to think about this game, and having played it, I now am really looking forward to their next game. Although I don't know how much bigger it can get. Is that if that makes any sense because it was nice because it was all contained and you just went and there wasn't really any mystery to it it was just uncovering something as with with interactivity and like ta tactile uh, concrete connections like you you see this thing and you have this the story and they coincide I'm, I'm doing hand motions way below you have this the story that you're hearing from your sister and you're walking around and you're seeing the things that go along with it so you you get it and it's not just someone telling you things it's it's you 
it, there's context. That's the word. You you get context for the story based on the things that you're seeing, and it's just it's awesome. And not to mention that the story is great because it's someone like discovering what they want and and what they're good at and the things that they like and dealing with other people. And those are always really interesting, complex stories because it's people's feelings and those are really hard to grasp. And I think that this did it really well. And one of the things is that um, they use teenagers, obviously, but that's always, and you see that a lot. I'm thinking about this now. You see a lot of stories of like love stories and stuff with teenagers. And I think that's just because um, our cats, uh, because you, because teenagers are so hopped up on hormones and everything. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, teenage viewers. Uh, but it's you feel everything so much more, and people can remember that. I remember how how I won't say life or death because that's done to death. <laughs> how intense that's it. How intense everything is when you're a teenager. And this game is an awesome example of that. And I actually know people who aren't that into video games who I want to play this. Because this is a great bridge for opening up dialogue about games and uh, games as a media with people who maybe aren't into the whole gaming scene, which is something that I really want to do. I want to open up dialogue about games and talk to people about games, even if they're not into games and everything. And this is, this is perfect for that, and I think I'm actually going to use this. I've been trying to write about how to talk to people who don't play games about playing games. Kind of like you don't talk, you talk to people who aren't super into movies or super into reading about books, and they may not be like super excited about it, but they'll get it. And people, that tends not to happen with games, and I think this is a great bridging point. Even if it's just one of those walking simulators. And it's awesome. The story was really well written. The stories within the stories are really well written. I didn't pay too much attention to the mom stuff. It was very clearly focused on the troubles that the dad was having and then Sam's love life. Because those are the two things that popped up over and over again. And the the dad stuff even uh, took, it got better at the end. Everything got better as you progress through the story, which was really cool. Because at first you see the dad's like getting yelled at by the people at the review place. His, his publisher's dropping his book, and then at the end, his, a new publisher's picking up his book, and he's been inspired, and he wants to write a new book. And then you have the whole thing with Sam, where she's moving into this new town, everything's destroyed, her whole social life, her whole social structure is just gone. But then her life changes, and she discovers more about herself. And sometimes that's what you have to take change as. It's an opportunity for you to learn more about yourself and who you are as a person. Even if things don't go the way you want them to go, you're still you, but with the caveat that you might be changing. So she she said that she knew she was gay from like a young age, and some people don't really, or maybe things are more complicated than that. It's just, don't be afraid to be different than what you have been. I think that's one of the main things in the story, is even if people don't get it, you get it. It's a more important, it's it's much more important that you get it than anything else. Just try to learn about yourself and who you are and what you want, and that's really all you need. I don't know if there's anything else for me to say about this game. I've been rambling for the past like five minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this series, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more stuff like this, more videos that I've done, I put some uh, annotations right after this. And if you want to see more videos from me coming up as they are uploaded to YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and YouTube will let you know for you and everything is so much easier. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll check you in the next series. <laughs> They're going to get ugly, all right. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam-powered oceanic tinker tower. You chase. Hey, me too. Why is there? Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yeah, take the photo.